Today's class is about bipolar junction transistor abbreviated as BJT. Before proceeding towards BJT, let's see some examples of semiconductor that is nothing but firstly diode, second one transistor. In transistor when you come you have BJT and you have so these are the majorly used semiconductor devices in analog electronics. So today we are going to cover about bipolar junction transistor. So basically a BJT is a three terminal device. The three terminals are emitter represented by E, base represented by V, collector represented by C. So a BJT has three terminals, emitter, base and collector and it works with both majority and minority carriers. That's why the name bipolar has been given to it. Now BJT is of two types. One is NBN, other is PNP. So NPN means a layer of P sandwiched between two layers of N and PNP means a layer of N sandwiched between two layers of P. Now coming to the circuit representation of it. So basically, this is N, P, N, P, N, P. So the difference between the two amplifiers, sorry, the two BJT transistors is nothing but the direction of the current. When you come to NPN transistor, the flow of current is towards the emitter and when you come to PNP transistor, the flow of current is towards the this. 